Hey y'all, this is Kevin again. Welcome back. This is the Tuesday Ute Camp. This is week two. So this is the second week of the of the four week series. We'll go through the the material for that's in chapter two of the book. The book's available on the website. You can grab it, download it there. Uh, we'll make a pass through this stuff and uh, you can use this as a reminder if you've already done week two or if you haven't, to, to kind of get up to speed with the rest of the group. Hopefully we'll be back together before too long so we can go finish the uke camp and play some music together. So let's start out. <clears throat> I'm going to, uh, I'll go ahead and leave that thing up there. No, I'm going to turn it off. Okay. So we'll start out uh, by practicing the stuff we did last time. So first thing we're going to do is hold in the uke. So we put the uke on our right leg. We take our left, hold it with our right hand. Take our left arm, dangle it down at the side. Wiggle our fingers. Relax, relax, relax. Then just raise your arm up with your fingers spread like that. Your thumb is kind of pointed at your ear. And lay the uke between your thumb and your finger. And you want your your thumb and your finger to be next to the nut. Now on my ukulele today, the nut is black, so it's harder to see. But right next to the nut. And then bring your fingers down one at a time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Onto the first string. Then raise them up. Wiggle your fingers. Bring them down. One, two, three, four. Bring them up. Wiggle your fingers. Last time. One, two, three, four. Bring it up, wiggle your fingers. Good. <clears throat> so that's holding the uke. So if when you're starting out here the first few weeks, <coughs> excuse me, every time you pick up the ukulele to play it, <coughs> go through this procedure. I know it's 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 kind of arcane, uh, but it will help you develop the habit of holding the ukulele so that your wrist is straight. And that's really important as you play more that your wrists stay straight. And it's hard to do once if you played the ukulele for a couple of years and you've developed a way to hold it, it's very difficult to change that. But if you're just starting out, this is a good time to develop that habit so that your wrist stays nice and straight. Okay. So I'm going to turn this back on. We'll go here. Okay. Today we're going to talk about chords, how to learn chords, um, and how to practice chords. So the chords we're going to start out with in this, in this camp are what we call chord twins. So if you look at these first two here, it's the F add 9, you see in the square brackets the name of the chord is above the, the chord diagram here, F add 9, don't worry about these names, it's just a name, don't worry about it right now and the C7. And if you look, <clears throat> those chords are the same shape. So the C7, we can spell the C7 zero, 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 one. So you're pressing on the first fret, the first string. The F add nine is zero, zero, one, one, zero. Zero, zero, one, zero. So we're pu pushing on the first fret of the second string. Remember, you don't have to press hard, just, just enough to get the uh, string to sound. You want to be in between. You want to be Goldilocks. Not too hard, not too soft. Just right. And I can't tell you how to do that because everybody's hands and fingers are different. It's just something you'll have to play around with. So we have a C7, 0, 0, 0, 1, and an F add 9, 0, 0, 1, 0. Call those chord twins because it's really the same chord shape. You're just moving your finger across one string. Right? So I'm going to put my strap on. <clears throat> A way to, to learn chords, these are pretty simple chords, so learning them should be pretty simple. But the way to, to practice chords to learn them is using a technique called pulsing the chord. And we're going to do that here. We're going to start on the F add 9, and then we're going to go to the C7. What we're going to do, we're going to use our strum, our down strum. We're going to do it 
really slow. We're going to add something to that strum. So when we go down, you know, our, our hand has to come up so we can go down again. With the down strum, we've been strumming and only hitting the strings with the down stroke. But now we're going to add the up stroke. So without pressing on any frets at all, we're going to go down, up, down, up, down, up. So the down is with the nail of your finger, and the up is with the meaty side. And if you listen, they have different sounds. The down stroke with your nail is more percussive, sharper. Come up with your finger, with the meaty part of your finger, it's kind of a softer sound, a little rounder sound. <clears throat> That's really good because that adds texture in your strummings, in your strumming patterns, and it, it makes that rhythm, it, it adds an extra dimension to it that wouldn't be there otherwise. So we're going to use that. So we call this, let's down, up. We go down. A down up strum or an eighth note strum. So the, the down strum we did yesterday, one, two, three, four, was a quarter note strum. This is an eighth note strum. We're doing one and two and one and two and two and two and one and two and. <coughs> Excuse me. I still have these allergies. So to pulse a chord, we'll just start with one. We'll start with this F add nine. So it's zero, zero, one, zero. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a down stroke. We're gonna press on the string. That's what it'll sound like. F add nine. But we're gonna do a down up stroke. And on the up stroke, we're gonna relax our finger. So it'll sound like this. You don't have to lift your finger off the string, just relax the pressure on it so that it's, that string is not sounding anymore. When you're learning a chord, this is a simple chord, so you'll probably, you do this for a little while, you'll have this chord. <clears throat> With more complex chords, a good way to, to, to use this chord pulsing is to set a kitchen timer for one minute. <coughs> and pulse that chord for a minute. Do that for a couple of days and you'll have that chord shape in your fingers. Now, as you do that, this, and you relax, when you get to the point where you can lift your finger off the string, and you can go back and, the, and sound the chord, it sounds good, then you know the chord. You don't have to do this anymore. Another way that you can use pulsing the chords is to, to practice chord changes. So we'll do that here as well. So we have this F add nine, we have the C7, which is zero, 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 one. So on one downstroke, we're gonna do the F, and then we're gonna go up, and we're gonna do the C7. C7, relax, F, up, C7, relax, F, relax, C7, relax, F, Relax, C7, relax, F, relax, C7, relax, F, relax, C7, relax, F, up, C7, up, F, up, C7, up, F, up, C7. Nope. Okay. That's enough chord madness. Let's do Are You Sleeping Again. So we did this last week. <clears throat> We're still going to just use the down stroke. One of the things I'd like to do though, the same chord, we're using C, <clears throat> and this just this simple strumming pattern. We can do another song with this. <coughs> and everybody 
everybody knows this. I'm sure everybody knows this. If you don't, you'll learn it by the time we're done. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. So, what we're going to do, if we're going to do Are You Sleeping, we'll sing through it three times. Now, the second time through, I'm going to sing Row, Row, Row Your Boat. You keep singing Are You Sleeping, and then the third time we'll do Are You Sleeping all together. You can sing Row, Row, Row Your Boat with me if you want, but it's neater if you, if you stay on Are You Sleeping. Ready? We'll do it. One, two, three, C. Two. Gently down the stream, merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream, merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Skip Farmer and Adele. Okay, we'll do a song with our new chords. So our new chords, you know, are F add nine, zero, zero, one, zero, and C7. Zero, 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 one. <coughs> and we're going to use a different strumming pattern for this. So this combines the quarter note and the eighth note strum. So let's finger an F add nine, zero, zero, First fret of the second string. And the strumming pattern is going to go like this. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. One, two, and three, four, and 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 So just a little review if you've forgotten. So we're going to do all our strumming at the beginning here with our index finger, and we want to have a pointer. We want our hand to be shaped like a pointer. We want to strum right where the body and the neck come together. And this, the strumming motion is a rotating our wrist. We're not going to move our elbow around. Rotate our wrist. So let's practice the chords here. We'll start on the F add 9. We'll go to the C7. We'll play two measures on each chord. We'll start on the F add 9. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and C7. F at 
that night. C7. We'll do this one more time. F at 9. Okay, so let's do this song. We'll do it at about that speed. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. Ain't gonna rain no more, no more. Ain't gonna rain no more. Now in the heck can I wash my neck? when you play it slow. Next time we'll play it a little quicker, but to get going, I think that's probably a pretty good speed. <clears throat> okay, we'll do another song, the same two chords and the same strumming pattern. Take me back to Tulsa. It's a good song. We'll do this one just a little bit quicker. So we'll start on the F add nine. We'll do the same. So if you noticed, I'm this, this percussion sound over here is a cajon that I'm beating on to try to keep myself in time, as we say. And it's hard, it's a lot harder to play this stuff by yourself than it is in a group. It, it's much easier to play when you have a bunch of people around you playing. And hopefully we'll be back together doing that soon. <clears throat> so let's do Take Me Back to Tulsa. We'll do it a little quicker. We're going to start in the F at 9 and I'll strum us in. I forgot to start the music. Thank you. 
trouble strumming and singing <clears throat> don't feel bad because you're doing four different things you're doing a melody with the melody you're singing you're doing rhythm with the strumming pattern you're doing harmony in the chords you're playing and you're doing poetry with the words so <clears throat> it's an incredibly complex thing to do if you're having trouble getting started one thing to do work on the strum can use the Z chord. So the Z chord, you just lay your fingers gently on the strings. You don't push down at all. And you, and you strum. Probably the hardest thing for people to get when they're starting out, and the thing that, that you could work on the most, with the most benefit, is working on your strumming. Get a nice steady beat. Getting, getting where your right hand is relaxed when you're strumming, that's really the key. It's hard to do at the beginning because you're, you're thinking about everything you're doing. But if you strum with just the Z chord, you don't have to worry about changing chords or anything. So in a song like this, if, you, if you're having trouble with the chords, just do the Z strum. Now if you're having trouble singing, if you can't get the words to, to in there, and change the chords and do the strumming all at once. Start out by humming. So if you even if you can't do the chords, do the Z chord and hum it. So now you're doing two things. You're doing rhythm and you're doing melody with the hum. And you can add one thing at a time. So when we're playing a song together in a group, if you're having trouble with the chords, 
You can always go to the Z chord, or you can just move your hand. You don't have to hit the strings. You don't have to worry about playing the chords. Just move your hand <clears throat> and hum along or sing along with everybody. There's always a fallback. <coughs> Excuse me. This is about having fun. It's not about you know torturing people and make them you know do everything all at once. So that's that's all we have for this week. Uh, all, now all four um, U Camp sessions are online, and you're welcome to to pull them down, do whatever you need to do with them, and uh, uh, you know, work on your ukulele stuff while we're all trapped in our houses. Hopefully we'll be back together soon and uh, be playing music together. See you later. Stay safe.